Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm finally uh, getting to work on the S15 again. I'm just about to jack it up and change over that last uh, camber arm. So we're removing the GK Tech rear upper control arms and just going back to standard for now. So if you're not sure why, uh, if you maybe you've missed the last two videos, uh, you can go back and check those out. It'll explain why we're removing them from the car. Um, but at this stage, yeah, we're just going back to standard. I haven't really driven the car. I think I've driven it once um, in the last couple of weeks. So would like to be able to start using the car a bit more again. So, so anyway, we're just gonna quickly rip them off and then maybe we'll go into something a little more interesting. Right, so we're all done with that one. Uh, it's good to have some arms that I know aren't gonna break back on the car. So we're just back to factory camber arms now. Uh, and obviously the wheels are, are re-cambered in. So not ideal. I'm gonna have to work out what I'm gonna do for a replacement. I was thinking of asking GK Tech if they'll refund me, uh, just as I'm not feeling comfortable to run the product anymore. So I may send them an email and just see what they say. I don't really like my chances. I'll be surprised if they refund me. Uh, otherwise I may sell them. Uh, second hand and try and recoup some of my costs. I uh, don't really know yet. I kind of feel like I shouldn't really sell them, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with them that I know of. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Let me know if you think that's like a bad idea. Next thing. So this car has been, you know, it's been a, on a bit of a negative feeling for me lately. I haven't been really loving it or enjoying it, but I don't mind looking at it every now and again. So one of the things I've been meaning to do is fit up a rear wing. So she's spoilerless at the moment. This may be a bit controversial, but I've found a factory spec S wing. Uh, it's not painted or anything yet to match the car, but I'm tempted to drill the one hole I need. Uh, I think someone has either, um, this was either a holeless boot that someone has put holes in or uh, they've puttied up this hole. Looks like there was maybe a hole here. so. Uh, may just re-drill that and temp fit up this wing, see what it looks like, but I quite like, I think I quite like how they look with the factory small wing, not the big uh, aero one. I didn't pay a thousand dollars for a wing, sorry. Um, so let's maybe give that a go. So here it is, just the factory type S wing uh, with the integrated brake light. It's nice and low profile. I think it's actually surprisingly similar to what a lot of people put on their S15s. They get those aftermarket little wings. I was kind of looking at the factory one thinking, oh, it's really not that much different. So I picked this up pretty cheap when I was in Brisbane. Um, I think it was 50 bucks or something like that. So one of the things we will have to do though is just a little bit of electrical stuff. Uh, old mate, when he's removed it off the car, has, has just cut it off. So we'll have to fix that up. I think I found the wires in my boot, so that shouldn't be too hard. And then uh, we're just missing a hole for this center nut here on the boot lid. So. Gonna have to drill one. Now before you freak out, this boot is going to get painted, so uh, don't freak out. So as for where to drill it exactly, uh, I'm pretty sure it's in this little hole here, and you can just see that tiny little, yeah, that little dot there. I think that's it. Before I just drill from the top down, you can sort of see the outline of where the spoiler used to sit.
been trying to get this nut, the last nut on the boot to secure it, and it's like a different thread to all the other ones, so someone's done a repair on it. Anyway, I can't get it on, I keep dropping the nut. So I've been digging down the, uh, I guess the, the, the quarters, like down inside the boot, inside the rear wheel, the rear wheel arch, looking for the nut that I think I dropped down there. Anyway, um, just pulled out a couple of nails, uh, you know, from down inside my car. Three, three so far. But the first and most craziest thing I pulled out is actually this. Uh, so this is metal. And I do get a banging noise when I go over bumps, like now that I've got coilovers in. So I wonder if this has been bashing around in there. I think it's, I don't know, is it something to do with the jack? It was down near the jack. Anyway, that's just was loose down inside my, my quarter here. What else do we have? Three more nails. What the hell? Did someone drop a packet of nails down here? None of this car sounds like an old, crappy, rattly piece of crap. It's got freaking nails all in it. It's just loose. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm genuinely... This is not how I thought my day would go. Look how many freaking nails are in my car. You gotta be kidding me. The wing's on, uh, but I'm pretty tempted to just check the other side now to see if uh, more crap has been sort of dropped down the right hand side of the car. So I'm going to do that. Uh, it's like an archaeological dig, really. Um, it's actually insane how much stuff came out of there. And I reckon one of those was making that bang. I don't know. It's the car bangs every now and again since I've had coilovers. Like if I go over a quick bump, uh, I get something loose sort of in the back sounding noise. And I reckon it was one of these. Uh, one of these things that I can only assume is from the jack. Uh, so if you know what they're from, uh, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty, pretty confused. But just look how much stuff came out of the back. I'm guessing the previous owner was a carpenter at some stage. I'm not certain that's exactly where the spoiler's meant to sit. It almost looks like it's sitting maybe a little too far forward on the boot. Uh, so I might check some pictures after this, but those were the holes that we had there. Maybe there was a different wing on this, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm sort of looking at it more than I guess you normally would, but I don't know. Does that look like it's sitting a bit too far forward? I if it's like a joke. You sell someone your car, they don't like the price, like maybe they haggle too hard or something. And instead of putting sand in their petrol tank, you uh, just throw a heap of nails down in a spot where they'll probably never find it. You might notice when they first drive off, the car sounds awfully rattly. <laughs> a sinker? Now a carpenter and a fisher. Hey, maybe Jesus sent this guy. All right, I think that's it. Righto, so now that we've finished digging around in the back, we've got to wire in this uh, brake light here. So as I showed you before, uh, we are missing, it's just sort of being snipped off here at the wire. So red and black, I was looking around in the boot to try and find uh, where the signal from the car or where the wiring from the car is. And uh, I've found one that I think might be it. This one dangling here, uh, it's a red and a black wire, just like uh, the one above. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get someone to come and press a brake for me. So I'll ask Bron to come press a brake and then see if we pick up a voltage uh, across that one. And then I'll work out how to wire it up nice and neat so that it connects up here. Ouchies, oh, I just got electrocuted. Uh, brakes? Yep. Yeah. Are they? Yep. Just pump it again. Hmm. I may have popped the circuit breaker. Oopsies! Righto, so that was it. Uh, I had to replace the stoplight fuse because I uh, 
touched the earth and positive together so it popped the fuse gave me a little zap as well which was fun but yeah that is the right one so we tested it we just pumped the brakes and you get uh like 12 volts and then it goes away 12 volts goes away so now i just need to wire that up so i've got some speaker wire lying around from this car's audio system so i'm just going to uh, basically connect that between the spoiler wiring and that little plug so i've lost most of my soldering skills but i mean it's on and I soldered these two together as well, just to make it a bit longer. And we just got to connect these two to those two. So the wire I've used is too thick. I was trying to like pass it through here, down, and then maybe out here. Or if I could somehow work out, I think it can go all the way down there. Not sure how the original wiring is meant to work, but at the moment I've just temporarily connected it. So we're just going to see if it works at all. And then I'm going to have to get some thinner gauge wire. This is that thick stereo uh, sort of wiring, not really appropriate, and just make it like impossible to pass through this little gap, for example. Again. Woohoo! It's working. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Right, so that's all done, job complete for today. Uh, we haven't got the brake light connected just yet. I need a bit more solder. Um, I ran out of the actual material you need to solder it together, so a bit embarrassing, but um, can't be bothered going out for that today, so I'll grab some during the week, get that all finalized, uh, probably in the next video, I guess. Um, and then we'll also move on to something else. I'm not just gonna do a video of me wiring up the brake light. That would be really boring. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wheel it out now and give it a bit of a wash because it's been sitting in here for a while and gets get some gecko poo on it every now and again. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, and then we'll show you the final product. Right guys, so that's it for this one. We got the wing installed and replaced that rear camera arm so I'll be able to use the car again. Thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it and we'll wire up the wing in the next video or like get it actually working. And yeah, not too sure what the next video is gonna be but yeah, thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.